Kamarudin Okikiola is the President General of Agbekoya Farmers Association. In this interview, he opines that Marudin has men perpetuating crime in the southwest of Godfathers who purchase arms and ammunition for them. He also says that his group will weed off every expansionist tendency of the killer Esmen. He speaks on other bony issues affecting the southwest. And he was asked, you recently raised the alarm that criminal Esmen have begun guerrilla warfare in the southwest. What informed your remarks? And he said, some factors, events and incidents informed my remarks, especially the spate of kidnappings and killing of farmers and innocent Yoruba sons and daughters by Fulani criminal Esme and bandits. Over 4,000 farmers and innocent citizens have been killed in the southern, in the southwest since the year 2015 without any arrest and prosecution. That is what uh, the leader of the Agbekoya is saying. Kidnapping and killing of people by criminal Fulani Esme continue unabated without any positive and responsive steps taken by the President Muhammadu Buhari administration to curb the nefarious activities of the armed criminal Fulani Esme. President Buhari and his aides have not spoken concerning all the criminal activities of the armed Fulani Esme and bandits until eviction and quit notice, notices with an ultimatum were given to Fulani Esme by Governor Roti Miyakredolu of Ondo State and the Yoruba human rights activists Sunday Igbowo in Ibarakpa area of Oyo State. Another factor that informed my remarks is the influence of Fulani criminal Esme and the amount of ammunition weapons like AK-47 being smuggled by these criminals into the southwest. I am amazed that not much has been done to arrest the godfathers who are financially responsible for the purchase of ammunition and weapons because I am sure that the Fulani criminal Esme are not the ones financing the purchase of these weapons. Gradually and subtly, the history of Fulani's expansionist tendencies towards the southwest is being reenacted and Agbekoya and other Yoruba nation stakeholders are aware of these tendencies. These expansionist tendencies will be seriously rebuffed by everything that it takes if these senseless kidnappings and killings are not stopped. In most of the villages and towns in Yoruba land, our farmers have deserted their farms and people cannot move about freely to conduct their business activities because of the fear of being killed and kidnapped. Criminal Fulani Esme now lay ambush on our people on highways in towns, cities and footpaths in villages. These are signs of guerrilla warfare. Okay, what do you think is responsible for the influence of criminal Esme in the southwest? He said the high level of poverty, children out of school, and insincerity of leadership in the northern part of the country have been responsible for the influx of criminal Esme in the southwest. The criminal Fulani Esme believe that once they can smuggle themselves to the southwest, they will get a place to stay with their Fulani kinsmen. And once they can, they can get a place to stay, they will start uh, mingling with people of the community under the pretense that they are Esme. They now begin to wonder about with another Esmen, with cattle studying the community environment and before the community and the traditional rulers could know what is happening, they would have formed a gang of kidnappers and bandits committing rapes, kidnapping and killing their victims who cannot afford to pay the ransom they are asking for. Even those who could pay were also killed for one reason or the other. Another reason is that our land borders are very porous and unscrupulous security agents could knife with them. Once their sponsors offer them money, there is also free and cheaper food for cattle in the southwest because of our climate. The Fulani Esme move around the cattle for free green grasses and in the process, the animals eat and destroy the crops of our farmers. Hmm. Do you think Amothe Kuma places in the south can flush out criminal Esme in southwest? And he said, the Amothe Kuma places alone cannot flush out the criminal Fulani S men in the southwest. The insecurity situation in the southwest, as it is today, call for a concerted effort from the from all security stakeholders like Agbekoya, OPC, the Hunters Vigilante Group, the Nigeria Civil Defense Corps, and the government security agencies. The management of Amoteku need needs to reinforce and intensify the intelligence reporting system of their operation in some 
in such a way that on daily basis information about security situations in all the nooks and crannies of the state are reported for analysis and for prompt actions to be taken and the six states need to create a kind of synergy and networking in their operations of to complement each other amotekun as a security outfit is yet to grapple with the enormous tax of securing lives and properties in the state because the organization is faced with inadequate personnel funding logistics network and ineffective intelligence reporting system do you support uh, the strategy being adopted by mr sunday adeyemo also known as sunday igbowo in his quest to flush out criminal estimate from the southwest he said yes i supported the strategy adopted by sunday igbowo and if and even though we all need to rally around him to perfect the strategy he has taken the bull by the horn and has sent the signal to federal government that enough is enough and that we yoruba at home and abroad are not ready to condone the criminal activities of the fulani esme in the southwest hmm. i want to sunday igbo has awakened every son and daughters of yoruba land especially our traditional rulers who have been trading with lives and properties of their people and political class who are politicizing insecurities in southwest I want to use this medium to inform him that the Agbekoya Farmer Society, the first farmers group in Nigeria since 1938, is suddenly behind him and we are ready intensifying our efforts and strategies to flush out criminal Fulanis Esme from the southwest. Agbekoya security operatives are already in most of the forests day and night and around the land borders in Yoruba land to monitor the activities of criminal Fulani Esme. I am also calling on our traditional rulers, politicians and southwest governors to support Sunday Igbo because he's fighting a just cause. You recently disclosed that your group has begun a manhunt for the killer S men, kidnapping known as a Mahud Waziri and his men who terrorize farmers and residents in Ibarakpa, local government area or for your state. How did you arrive at this? Yes, we farmers are the most affected by criminal activities of the armed Fulani Esme and Maruda's and you cannot expect us as a farmer, as farmers, as a farmer group to fold our arms when our farmers are being killed and our wives, our daughters are being raped by criminal Fulani Esme, kidnappers and bandits. The insecurity situation in the southwest is no more a joke and we are not ready to take it lightly with anybody who is the kingpin of this criminal Fulani Esme. Wow. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. Uh, this man has said a lot of things by supporting, calling all other groups, especially the governors and the traditional ruler to support Sunday Igbo and also telling us that uh, since 2015, 6,000 people, that's it. That's more, 6,000 people. And now those say, uh, okay, 4,000. Yes, he said 4,000 farmers in six years and the northerners are giving threats. The worst part of it is that when these people are doing anything, they cannot even come together and say, No, we condemn this act. Let the security people take their decision. And no, and he said nobody has been arrested. And now they are they are forming victims. So guys, let's hear your opinion and leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you.